Next, let us discuss the types of vectors. In types of vectors, the very first one is a zero vector or null vector. What do you mean by the zero vector or null vector? The vector whose magnitude is the vector whose magnitude is a null vector. A vector whose magnitude is zero is called a null vector, which is usually denoted by zero bar. That means for a null vector, the initial point and the terminal point coincide. So if A is initial point, then A A bar is equals to zero bar. This is a null vector. Let us see very clearly the illustration of a null vector by means of this animation. Observe that. A bow is started moving from this point and he is moving from this direction. From here, he started moving towards this point and again moving back. See, the red line shows it, his path. In this he moved off. But if you can define properly here, this is the initial point where this fellow has started and this is the same point that is terminal point where this fellow has stopped. So, if you take this point as A, then A to A bar is 0 bar. Even though he traveled this much distance, so this is say D1, this is say D2, this is say D3. So, he traveled at a distance of D1 plus D2 plus D3, but the vector which this magnitude is not is equal to 0, but vector A A bar is equal to 0 bar. So, what we can say is simply, it is a triangle. In triangle, if you start moving from one vertex to other than the third one, third one to the back previous one, then in triangle ABC, the displacement is a null vector. So, we can have the example that in triangle ABC, the displacement is, that is null vector. So, we can illustrate this null vector by means of from A to B it is one vector, from B to C is another vector and C to A is a vector. Therefore, in triangle ABC, AB bar plus BC bar plus CA bar is 0 bar, magnitude is equal to 0 with some direction. So, this is a good example for a 0 vector or null vector. Next, let us go to the unit vector. Understand this means of this animation that A is a point and B is a point. If you draw the vector AB bar with the length between A and B is 1, then it is called a unit vector. In fact, we define unit vector as a vector whose magnitude is equals to 1. A vector with the magnitude or whose magnitude is unity is called a unit vector. So, if A is a point and from A to B, if a vector is drawn from A to B with the direction AB and this length is 1, that is vector AB bar has its magnitude is equals to 1. Then we say AB bar is a unit vector. Suppose if A bar is any vector, then if A bar is divided by its magnitude, then this is nothing but a unit vector. This is a unit vector in the direction of A bar denoted by A bar cap, that is A cap. A cap is nothing but a unit vector in the direction of A bar. So, this is a notation of finding a unit vector in the direction of a vector. Next, let us go to the like and unlike vectors. Observe this animation related to this one. A is a point, B is another point and A B bar is one vector and C D bar is other vector having equal magnitude and the same directions. They are called like vectors. Next, if you observe this animation that A be a point and B is another point such that a, B and C, D are having equal length but directions or reverse are called unlike vectors. So, therefore, like and unlike are defined in this sense. So, like vectors means, so if two vectors are such that magnitudes are equal and their directions are same. So, two vectors are such that their magnitudes are equal and directions are same, then they are said to be like vectors. So, this illustration of like vectors. A bar and B bar. That is A B bar comma C D bar are like vectors. Then number one vector A B magnitude must be equal to vector C D magnitude. Number two A B bar direction and C D bar direction should be same. Then we can say A B bar and C D bar are like vectors.